the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. as 155 pounds. It is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vinks. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo. Introducing the challenger, La. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Right, for the championship. You've been giving me the Korean Super Bowl. Fighters touch gloves. Ready. Ready. All right, so here we go. Round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Misses again with a right punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body.
Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Liver Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good stick. He's able to slip the left there. Hang in there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Shore. Nice great punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy go, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Beautiful body kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice leg kick lands. Just out of range with that. I'm not sure. He is on the street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Try to establish that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, collar tie. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed oh. martial arts. Oh. Guys have found it. And they are fighting behind him real well. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Right. Tough. We've trained for this before. You're in fight. Great. All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Let's go. Set the pace. Oh! And he continues to work the body here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Ooh, he 
landed a huge hook there. Oh! Beautiful strike. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pretty good right hand. Nice hook lands. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. Just missed with the left there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Both guys really throwing with authority. Real quick leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. That, that punch right there. His opponent's compromised him. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. That shot is blocked by Chor. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. 
ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Joy gets caught with that punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 41 seconds of the third round. To play the winner by knockout and still. Money. This is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations.